Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. I actually have a bit of a cold, getting a sore throat, don't know what's happening there. So if I occasionally drink a little bit of my hot tea, please excuse me. Mm, that feels good in my throat. I'm going to be doing my August favorites and then a couple uh, fudges. I don't like to call them fails because I feel fails are like permanent, like that wouldn't work for anybody. Um, and maybe what doesn't work for me might work for you. So I'm just going to call them fudges from now on. <laughs> and it sounds a little bit more, I don't know, positive maybe. Okay, so let's get started on my August favorites and a couple fudges. Let's start with skincare. My skin really did a 360 in the month of August. It was very reactive to a lot of things that I put on my face. Um, I did try a new foundation which is not something that's uncommon because I am addicted to foundation and I'm always trying new ones. But this particular foundation was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and I do hear that it is a very nice foundation for a lot of people out there but for me it made me break out. Another thing my skin was doing is it was getting patches of dryness on my forehead, oily over here in my cheeks or more like dry my cheeks, dry my forehead where it was peeling off and oily in my in my nose area and chin. It just was changing and I could no longer use my beloved Garnier Fructis um, in the green uh, jar. Um, if you're wondering which moisturizer that is, I didn't bring it out here with me, but if you look a few videos back, I talk about it a few times. Well, anyway, I couldn't use it any longer because it was making my face feel very greasy and it was very um, claustrophobic for me. It was very heavy. So I had to go with something lighter and something that was specifically for sensitive skin. So I thought back in the past when my skin has acted up and I said to myself, you know, Neutrogena has always really been a great line for me. So I went back and I got a combination skin, a lotion formula, and I used that and that just irritated my skin more. So I said to myself again, I better go and get something that specifically says sensitive skin. So I went and got this oil-free moisture um, lotion. It says sensitive skin right on there. It, on the back it says it won't clog pores. It's hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, fragrance and alcohol-free. And you use one pump and apply all over your face and neck and you use it in the morning and at night under or alone makeup and that's exactly how I use it. My skin is not improved because I think a lot of the problems I'm having are from my systemic lupus and my Sjogren's but it is more comforted and this is what is doing that. It's doing a great job at getting rid of those little dry patches and I'm really enjoying it a lot and just as a side note I have used this before in the past and then I saw something new saw that you know we're always trying to look for something new and better when I think sometimes we need to stick with what works best for us so that has been my moisturizer of the month and I'm also using it now into the month of September another skincare item which is actually something that is very economical yeah, that's the word. Um, and you can find it at most drugstores are the Freeman clay masks. And this one is avocado and oatmeal and it purges the pores. Now for this one, I like to just put some on my nose, my cheeks, and my chin. I do not put it on my forehead because it dries out my forehead too much and I had that little patchy problem where I have to put a little bit more moisturizer than usual. So this I just stick with the areas that I want to clean out my pores and once again that's the nose, the cheeks, and the chin. And I actually did this earlier before I applied my makeup and it did a really nice job. 
so you don't have to put these masks all over your face and you can even use masks that are specifically for uh, dry skin on your forehead or wherever they may be you can combine masks there's, it, there's no rule that you have to use one mask all over your face because you're just going to irritate the areas that um, are having a problem and so that has been a great thing once again that's the Freeman feeling beautiful facial clay mask and and it's avocado and oatmeal and it looks like that and has the big avocado um, half on there with the pit you can find those at Target CVS um, probably Walmart I'm not a big Walmart shopper so I don't know but I'm sure that you probably can find that there now before I go on I just want to say now I'm not feeling well but I did not put on my t-shirt inside out that's the design of the uh, t-shirt I bought this at um, Target last year and when I first put it on I thought I was wearing it inside out but then I realized that that is the style if you can see the seam there okay so you know I'm not like that sick where I'm not dressing right <laughs> okay um, let's go on to lips two lip products that I've really enjoyed for the month of August have been this Maybelline lipstick that was part of the porcelain collection and this is called afternoon tea I had spoken before about how I do not like nudes on me because they make me look like death warmed over. This is a very good nude for me and I like to use this when I'm using a color like this Plum Paradise that's very bold. I'll put this on and then I will put a little bit of this on the bottom lip and then just blot and maybe put a little bit more on the top depending on um, how dark this looks and it's a very nice color combination. I do use the Plum Paradise on its own but for during the day or if I don't want too much of a bold look I like to use the afternoon tea and I really wish that I would have picked up another one of these because this was the only one that I really liked and I thought would look good on my skin tone in that collection and you can't find them anymore because they're a limited edition. Another thing that I've been just grabbing for a lot, especially at night and I'm watching TV or um, I, I've been doing some beading and jewelry work while I sit at the TV and I've been reaching for my baby lips because this is a really great lip balm. It does have SPF in it so you can use it during the day too, which I also use it in the day. It's one of those products that I keep around me and I kind of throw into my handbag when I'm leaving the house. It has a nice bit of a purple tint to it nothing too dark it sort of reminds me of the black honey by Clinique but the black honey or almost black honey something like that is a little darker than this and I wish I could tell you the color but they don't have it stamped on here hmm. oh here it is it's number 20 grapevine and that makes sense because it looks very grapey and it also has a very light light scent of grape which I like so those are lip products. The next thing I'm going to talk about are face products. I've really been enjoying the Mineralize MAC Skin Finish Natural and Medium. I actually have that now on top of um, my Vita Lumiere Aqua by Chanel. It's a very nice powder. I can use this to sort of set or give my face a little bit more of a glow or it, um, un over liquid or cream foundations and I also can use it just on its own if I'm just not in the mood or don't have a lot of energy to put on makeup this does a nice job um, along with some concealer and I'm ready to go another thing by MAC that I've been really liking is the studio fix powder uh, plus foundation and it looks like that my color is C3 and the reason that the artist gave me just C instead of NC is that I have a lot of redness and rosacea from the lupus rash once again and this does a really good job at camouflaging when I want just something light that's going to do the job and cover what I need to cover this is a nice foundation and even though I don't do have sensitive skin as long as I use a nice moisturizer underneath it like the Neutrogena for sensitive skin it doesn't bother my skin at all I'm not breaking out from it it's just very very nice two concealers that I've really been enjoying and they've been for different purposes are the dream let me make sure I say this right the dream Lumi touch 
by Maybelline and this is in the color Radiant. Now I had made a mistake when I first bought this and I purchased the color, um, I think it was Bisque. I used it under my eyes and I didn't think it was that big of a deal and I see a lot of people on here talking about this and I thought hmm there must be something that I got wrong well I watched a couple videos and I realized that I had the wrong color so I went out and bought radiant and it's just such a beautiful um, apricot color it does a great job and it's right there of camouflaging those dark circles and the darkness that gets here real bad. I have it real bad from um, being chronically ill and and probably age and, and a little bit of hereditary because my dad has real dark circles and this does a great job at taking that away. I don't even need to use a concealer with it. I put some of this and then I take a little bit of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and sort of set it and I'm going to show you what I set it with in one moment. Now the next concealer that I use for covering maybe uh, little areas of redness, like a, a pimple, or I have a, um, a hyperpigmentation mark over here and a couple here, is the Urban Decay 24-7. And this color is in the NASA, and I have used uh, quite a bit of it. I use it every day. It does a great job at camouflaging, yet it doesn't make my skin look like a mask. My skin still shows through. Okay. Now, as I was talking about the um, Dream Lumi and the Mineralized Skin Finish, I've been using this foundation brush by Clinique, and the Pixie Woo Sisters talk about this once in a while. I've actually had this brush for probably close to five years. It's a really beautiful brush. It washes wonderfully. Um, I love the little um, handle that is clear plastic. It's very sturdy. I haven't had any shedding. No problem with this. But I don't use this for foundation. What I do with this is after I put on my concealer, I take this and I just wash it so I don't want to really put it onto my skin even though I touched it already. But I go and I tap it. I have a little lash there. There we go. I tap my concealer in and blend it and it does a really really nice job and then I go back and I take it and I tap it on the top of the um, mineralized skin finish take a little bit of that and then just tap it over to set um, settle it to set it and it works really wonderful I'm enjoying this a lot and I discovered that in August now on to uh, other face products. I bought a new cream foundation and, by Urban Decay and it comes in a really cute little um, pot like this with a purple top and its color looks like this. It's sort of like a pinky coral and the name of the color is Score. It is a really, really nice um, blush. You can use this alone to give your face a nice glow or you can use this under or over powder blushes and it's absolutely wonderful. I've been enjoying that a lot and I'm going to take a tissue and wipe off this concealer before I get it all over myself. There we go. Another blush that I've really been use, using and enjoying is the Coralista by Benefit and believe it or not this is a new product to me in the month of August. I've never had one of um, I've had the boxes, but I've never had Coralista, and that is the color there, and I'm sure you've seen it um, in plenty of people's videos. It's just a really pretty coral. Um, uh, it's not too orangey. It's sort of like pinky coral to me, or uh, at least on me. It goes on beautiful. It stays nice, and I really like to use it in combination with this Score by Urban Decay. Very, very pretty. I actually have it on now. Um, I don't have the cream blush, but I just have this one on today, and I really like it. And they always have a nice like light scent to it, but these scents in the Benefit powder boxes never bother my skin. Never. Also another blush that I really enjoy a lot is the Down Boy by The Balm. should put that tissue down. And I'm really loving The Balm products. I haven't found anything or tried anything I should say that I haven't liked. Down Boy is a beautiful pinky plum color, stays on nice, gives you beautiful, healthy, youthful glow. I really like it a lot. I might have talked about this before in my July favorites, might have, but it was um, certainly a favorite in August too. As far as um, 
bronzers. I really didn't use a lot of bronzers in the month of August. Um, I don't know why. I guess I just wasn't into it. But when I wanted to do some contouring or put a little bit more of a bronzy look to my face, I went and I picked up my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. I like this because it is matte and I mean, I've used this plenty of times since I've got it months ago, and it's nowhere near hitting pan. It's a very good cost. I forget it's like $2 or $3. It's just very cheap. I bought this at Target. I really like it. Um, some people complain with this that it gives sort of an orangey cast to their skin, but for me, for some reason, it just gives a bronzy glow. I don't have any orange um, on my skin at all after using this. Okay, um, in the month of July, I think it was, yes, it was July, I had won a Milani uh, Twitter contest and I had posted the box and showed everyone what I won. And I had won um, a number of things, including their new eyeshadows that come in this round container. I really like these a lot. I like the formulation. They're creamy, they're blendable, they last a long time. They work really great with um, MAC Paint Pot or the Maybelline Color Tattoos. Um, over that, uh, they just work really well. I like them so much so I went out and bought a couple more. I bought this one and this is the Caramel Brown and I really have been enjoying this in Jinjin. <laughs> enjoying this um, in the month of August and now into the beginning of September. I actually am wearing this now in combination with some other colors. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I love the second one that I bought. It's called Purple Shock. It's sort of duochrome where it has a, a blue undertone to the purple and it just looks so beautiful and when you have it on your um, eyelids and you're outside and the light hits it it gives it just a beautiful cast and just gorgeous love that color another little palette that I've been using a lot on my eyes is by um, NYX and it's the caviar and bubbles and it's sort of uh, their answer or one of their answers to a um, neutral palette. It has beautiful colors including this really dark chocolate brown, this brown, and I'm probably blinding you, the color in the uh, corner here is a real dark, I would call it like dark chocolate, uh, borderline black but it's not black. And there's a couple pinks in here, a um, couple taupes, there's a white that's a real pretty highlighter um, color. I just really enjoyed this a lot and you, you can see I really dug into the palette a lot. Very nice palette and I used that a lot in the month of August. Um, in the month of August, in the late latter part, the Maybelline color tattoos for the fall that are limited edition came out. Now let me first just say that I think that Maybelline is making a big mistake if they plan on just making these limited edition because these are beautiful colors and I went out and bought um, three of them, the barely beige, the green color, and then this color. And this color I've been using the most. This is the brown color. It's so beautiful. It's sort of a reddish brown and it is called Ma Rich Mahogany number 400. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely base color. Um, you can use it to um, just have an all over color use it alone, use it with another powder shadow, just perfect. I really love the color tattoos. In fact, if I can pull this out, well, I can't pull it out because I have some other stuff there. I have a drawer full of them. I basically have every color that they have put out except the white I do not have. And then there was one that from the fall collection that I can't remember. It might be called Good as Gold or something like that. I don't have that because I bought the original gold color that is very similar. But I really, really like these a lot. So those are the products that I enjoyed a lot in the month of August. And now I want to talk about two products that were my fudges that I really didn't like at all. The first was a sample that I received and it's a Bobbi Brown mascara and it's the Everything Mascara and the wand. It's just sort of like a, a larger version of the standard 
you know, elongated wand. Um, I really thought that I was going to like this mascara a lot, but to be honest with you, it did nothing for my eyelashes. I tried it three to four times, I think four times. Each time I tried it, you know, I really tried to get in there and, you know, brush that onto my eyelashes, see if it did anything. Did nothing. Uh, it gave it a, a, gave them a little color, but it didn't volumize them, it didn't lengthen them, it didn't, nothing. I just did not like this at all. Um, I was very disappointed. It doesn't mean that I won't try any more Bobbi Brown because I hear her eyeshadows and blushes are terrific. Uh, I plan on purchasing some of those and trying them. I just do not like this everything mascara. It wasn't for me. The second thing was something that I received in my Latina Beauty Vox box. And that's very hard to say. Um, this was the Veet Ready to Use Wax Strips. Now the reason that I did not like this is because there is a word on here, two words, sensitive formula. And to make a very long story short, this is not made for sensitive skin. This is not a sensitive formula hair removing system or wet well, strips. Now they give you a lot, uh, granted if this works for you you're going to be very happy because you get so many strips. You get these little wipes here that are supposed to calm your skin after you take off the hair. But I want to briefly tell you my experience. Now I followed the directions, I read everything, I place the strip on here after warming it in my hands, I patted it down, and when I went to go pull, it stuck to half of my skin. So I had to keep pull, and it keeps kept, kept sticking. I started to bleed, not a lot, but still I started to bleed. Anytime we're going to be removing hair, whether we're shaving or waxing, um, or, or when they do the thing with the eyebrows, the threading. You don't want to see blood there. You really don't because that's scary and it hurts. This did not work for me. I don't recommend it really for anybody unless you have, you know, and I'm thinking if you have very coarse hair, maybe it'll work, but coarse hair, I don't think that this strip will stick to it. And it was warm. I did it exactly how the box said it. So I was very disappointed with this. I used it in the beginning month of August. And I was going to do a, a separate video about it. And then I just never got around to it. So I thought I'd throw it into my fails for the month of August. So I was not pleased with that. I wouldn't recommend it. And I certainly wouldn't buy it in the store. I will stick with my shavers and other products that I use, but this will not be purchased. And I'm glad I didn't purchase it. So those were my favorites and a couple fails for the month of August. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching this and for all your kind words and support. I've noticed that I've gotten a few more subscribers. I want to welcome you to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. If you have anything that you want to know about a specific product, leave it below. Um, I always love reading comments. And answering questions and um, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. See you soon.